Reptiles may be a lot more emotionally complex than we realized. Scientists used to think that reptiles could only experience brief emotions in response to environmental stimuli, like feeling anxious when encountering something new. But earlier this year, a study on red-legged tortoises turned this notion on its head. Researchers found that not only did these tortoises exhibit short-term emotional responses to their environment, but they also had long-term moods, like feeling generally happy or generally sad. In other animals, including humans, it's well established that individuals who are in a good mood tend to make more optimistic choices, and also that being in this kind of optimistic mood tends to reduce their short-term anxiety in response to stimuli that normally make them nervous. To measure how optimistic or pessimistic the tortoises were in their decision-making, the scientists trained them to learn that a bowl in one location would always have a treat, and a bowl in a different location would never have a treat. Then, they measured how long it took the tortoises to approach a bowl in an ambiguous intermediate location. The faster they approached the ambiguous bowl, the more optimistic they were. Then, to measure the tortoises' short-term anxiety in response to novelty, the researchers exposed them to a novel object and measured how long it took them to approach it. They also put the tortoises in a novel enclosure and measured how far they stuck their head out of their shell. The idea was that the more anxious the tortoises were in response to novelty, the longer it would take them to approach the novel object, and the less they would stick their head out of their shell in the novel enclosure. The scientists found that the more pessimistic the tortoises' decision-making was in the first test, the more anxious they were in the other two tests. This suggests that just like mammals and birds, tortoises have long-term moods that can affect their short-term emotional responses. A lot of people keep pet reptiles in small tanks without much enrichment, not realizing that this could make them depressed. But this study suggests that we need to pay a lot more attention to caring for these animals' psychological welfare, because